I'm Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on derivatives of logarithms and exponential functions. Here we have an excellent question from previous test paper. Determine the points at which the curve y equals to ln 3 minus x square everything to the power of 5 has a horizontal tangent line. So horizontal tangent line means the slope first derivative should be 0, right? So, so we're given the function y equals to fifth power, right? ln 3 minus x square fifth power. So dy dx is equal to 5 times all this, which is ln 3 minus x square to the power of 4 times derivative of inside function, which is minus 2x. Now, for horizontal tangent, that should be 0, right? So, so we get 5 times ln 3 minus x squared to the power of 4 times minus 2x should be equal to 0. So clearly, we get one value from x equals to 0, right? And the other value we could get from here. Now we know ln 1 is 0, right? So that means 3 minus x squared should be equal to 1, correct? So that will be the second possible solution, correct? So this will give us that 3 minus 1 is equal to x squared or it is square root of 2 equals to x. Now let's look into the restrictions. x could be uh, between plus and minus square root 3. So both are uh, possible solutions in this particular case, right? So we get both plus and minus square root of 2 as our answer for the x value and we already have x equals to 0 as another solution, right? Now let's try to find the points since we need to find the points, right? You need to find y value also. So we'll substitute x equals to 0. So for x equals to 0, let's find what y is. We have y equals to ln 3 minus 0, which is 3, right? And uh, everything here is to the power of 5. So that's what we get. So we have one point, which is 0, and that's the y value, right? Uh, ln 3 to the power of 5, right? So that becomes one value. Now for x equals to plus minus 2, we get y equals to fifth power of 3 minus square root 2, whether it's plus or minus, <coughs> square to the power of 5. And that is, the y value will be ln 3 minus 2 is 1, right? So it is ln 1 to the power of 5. And ln 1 is 0. So we get that as 0. And now we can write down our answer that the points are one is when x is equal to 0, then the y value is ln 3 to the power of 5. And then we have when x value is square root of 2, then the y value is 0. And when x value is minus square root 2, then y value is 0. So we have these three points at which the function will have horizontal tangent line. I hope that makes sense. Feel free to write your comment, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for your time and all the best.